Beloved hearts of love's eternal presence, it is I, Papa Sun, twin flame to Mother Akasha, who comes to be with you this day. Advancing are the many teachings through spiritual schools that have the capacity to assist one to full enlightenment. In these precious moments that I have with you, it is to understand a greater will has been growing within each of you, and perhaps to review some simple thoughts about the Great Awakening. If you would be so kind, I invite you to inwardly repeat to yourself these following thoughts that I call the Greater Will. It is now a time in my existence when I am opening my eyes after a very long sleep. As I lay staring and stretching, I become aware of many things I do not remember. It's been so long the winter years of centuries of embodiment upon this planet. What is yearning within me to know who I am? What is this feeling within me that I am in me is greater than all that I presently see? What is this desire in me to know all things? As I awaken further, I see a new brilliance of color of flowers as if for the first time. And I hear the peeping of baby birds as they open their mouths skyward for sustenance and food. In reflection, I, too, look up to see a wondrous angel of light. And I hear a gentle voice whispering to me, whispering within me, that voice saying, You are remembering me now. I have waited long for you to awaken. I see new light in you, new courage and strength. This has not been there for a very long time. as this wondrous angel pours forth its light upon me, I feel inspiration and determination swell within me. A new will, a greater will, to discover what this life is all about. As I arise from my bed, the history of despair and loneliness and pain, I realize that I have missed so much. Yet now, I choose to relieve life 
of pain and suffering and don a new coat of many brilliant colors. And with those colors, awakening within my being, my body and my mind become alert to new sensations, new sights, new insights, new feelings. What is this beautiful place that I have long forgotten, I ask? Know you not that this is your home? Make of it what you will, came the gentle voice. A little louder this time. Make of your life what you will. And as I gaze upon these wisps of golden angelic light, I know what I will make of my life. I know what I will make of me. I choose in this very moment to be that golden light, to be that gentle voice, the patience and the peace of its radiance the love of its heart, the enlightenment of its mind. And I realize this is not personal will. It is the greater will of my higher self than the indwelling God presence, this loving angelic presence that is both within me and above me, that comes forth this growing will within. And it is all of me now, and together as one again. Beloved precious hearts of love, let us not be hypnotized or drawn in to what is going on in the world today. For in truth, this is the most spectacular time to have an opportunity to be born here upon the earth to treasure life. Children of a higher evolution are being born now. New incoming life streams are coming forward. The indigo children, the diamond heart, the violet souls, and even some radiant rose souls that have waited for this time to embody you can see the master presence within their eyes and you can now experience a new mastery. You can feel the great light that is seeking to unfold within each of your own lives. You know, beloved precious hearts, there is a place within you now that has been prepared for centuries of embodiments. And all of the past has been a preparing. Now the future belongs to you. The cup bearers. And Mother Akash and I seek to encourage you to realize 
that as you are healing yourselves and coming out of the darkness and density of old human consciousness, you are changing your world into a world of light. The advent of this didn't just begin in this life or even the last life, but rather the advent of this change, the advent of those who have sought to assist life on earth, began with the presence of many prophets passed upon your planet, followed by the presence of Jesus the Christ. It has been some 2,500 years that humanity has been responding to a quickening of light from within and above that is now spearheading into new moments of crowning victory. And so with lifetimes behind you and the opportunity to understand life's mysteries and remember who you really are and all that you could possibly come. If there is a great sense of anticipation within yourself, if there is a sense of excitement, or if there is a sense of awe, or even if there are yet those days where life seems to overwhelm you, it is quite all right. Considering that the will of your beingness is speeding towards its full awakening, and it shall not fail. I suppose, beloved ones, there is many a formula for awakening that begins by setting aside time each day for spiritual practice, meditation, developing and holding a higher vision, the training of fixing your attention within and upon your own great God presence I am, to open the door through your attention upon the light, and the practice of invoking through prayer, invocation, and mantra. Then the daily acknowledgement and recognition of the mighty indwelling presence, opening to experience the perfection and love of your presence, the angels, and the Ascended Masters, and their love for you. And you yourself can experience all new results, advanced healing throughout your awakening. In these opening years of the seventh golden age upon the earth, As this time in history, at this time in history, the human race is transforming and is listening less to the ego. Many in the world of human experience are ready for peace. Many are listening waiting for a change, a transformation during these difficult years. Yet these next few years are, are critical to each of you, beloved hearts, who are making a conscious choice to awaken to the greatness of your being. It is critical 
that you are allowing your own inner light of love, wisdom, and power to grow, watching, observing, living, comprehending, and experiencing it, until it, that greater light, transcends so greatly within yourself that the little I, the human who is experiencing this awakening and transformation, begins to melt away. And the transformation of becoming your greater I of your own divinity is unfolding. This is your future present that is waiting presently for you. You might say, I am awakening as fast as I am allowing myself to awaken. Could I awaken faster? Papa or son? Yes. For you are the authority for your life. And you can awaken by degree, a degree at a time, step by step, And you might ask, why does awakening to my real self require time? And I say unto you that due to the history of what has happened to human beings, feeling safe and knowing that you are safe in your awakening, You are safe in your healing process. This is important and one of the factors involved in the time it seems to to fully awaken along with the necessity of correction of human belief systems that are simply not the truth. Beloved hearts of love, if I, Papa a Son, could provide a service where you could turn within and release the historic information that is stored in your cells, I would suggest that safety would be an inherent recognition, necessity, and realization. And you would move forward with a greater awakening. So what is this, that thing that encourages us to awaken by degrees? Let's do it safely. Let's do it a little at a time. It is not that difficult. Well, it is also about your sovereignty. For beloved hearts of love, you have lost your freedoms in past experiences You have lost your bodies too young in past experiences due to wars, ideologies, philosophies, human oppressive movements, less than ideals. The old spiritualizing of your life in sacrificial ways. The aligning with of yourself with some king, some savior, to some truth that resulted in you in a number of your lifetimes, 
losing yourself, giving power away to others. Now remember, as Mother Akash and I have suggested to you before, when you go through the change called death, there are what we call the three edemic cells, the three signature cells within your heart that actually leave through your life stream when you leave the physical body. They move up your life stream, back up to your great God presence, where they are temporarily stored. And when you come back into your next embodiment, those three signature cells join with the cells of your newly born physical body that has been created for you in this world. It is in this way that not only are you carrying in your feeling body the historical emotional energy of past life experience, you are also carrying in the cellular history the information carried over into this life from previous experience if it has not been healed. What happened to those former bodies, the memory, the panic, and the death that happened in those garments? The record is in the cellular history of your physical body. And some of that record contains the experience of fear. And where does that fear come from? The fear that someone's going to harm you. Someone's going to create a problem for you. The reason is because It did happen. It happened before. And it is this record of having lost your physical life in past embodiments that causes you today to say, All right, I know I must take this journey back to life. I know I came from the light. I know I've lost my past memories of past lives. And therefore I know, as I awaken, I must follow my heart. I'm going to do what is right. But I'm also going to do it as safely as I can. Beloveds, if you could just see what is the divine plan for humankind and for your planet, and all the planned intervention and the help that is coming in for each of you as you turn your attention towards the light, you would be so inspired A wonderful change is coming to your world. Change is in the air this very moment. And if you breathe beyond the chaos in the outer world, can you feel it? It is in the air. So no matter the history that you've carried over from past embodiments, through your awakening, the use of the sacred fire, your prayers and your meditations, all can be healed now. Everything is in your favor. You know that you have a greater self, known as the I Am God Presence. Train yourself to do your spiritual work each day, And you will come to know of the divine plan 
for your life. Sometimes you have to become a little more receptive. So turn within and ask, how do I become more receptive? Open the way. How do I access the perfection of my beloved God presence? How do I embrace, embody, and experience and express the love, wisdom, and perfection of my own inner God light? How do I bring that forth in my daily life? This is why you are all encouraged to take up a spiritual path of study, discovery, illumination, that you may have these rightful questions answered. When you have anchored enough of the love, the presence and perfection of your own great God I am into your lives, as I suggest, is now occurring. Then a magical time which is not decided by you, a magical time you will experience every glory that Mother Father God intended for the people of earth, your freedom, your resurrection, your service, and your ascension. In your awakening, is the realization that the manifestation process is ongoing 24 hours a day. It does not stop. And the nature of your thoughts and feelings within you are part of that ongoing creative experience on earth. I would like you to observe yourself a little more how well you carry the divine qualities of love are you carrying those divine qualities inside you are you expressing them in your thoughts your feelings your words your actions how about in the choices and decisions you are making do they represent the allowance for the divine qualities of love in you that have been covered over for too long to come forth in you now and your life. What I am suggesting to you is that you, you a student and initiate, are on a spiritual path. In this great process of awakening, of becoming, and the process will never ever be complete without you giving daily recognition to the great God Self I Am Presence within and above you that is the giver of your own life stream, that is your breath of life, that is your spirit and that every good student recognizes is the source of their life in their physical body. It is the source of all good, the source of one presence, power and intelligence. This world has waited too long. It is important that you remind yourself of this daily. It only takes a few moments to remind yourself. And why do you do this? Because the old world and the old consciousness has gained such a momentum in human history that if you do not remind yourself of the truth you are anchoring, that you are growing and expressing 
If you do not remind yourself of this, then the old limited consciousness will come in and overwhelm you. Unless you remember certain fundamentals of higher truth in a daily way that keeps the old consciousness and its pressure out of your new awakened life. And it is this remembering of certain statements of truth that you discover in your studies that anchor within you, beloved, the fundamentals of every spiritual message so that eventually you, beloved, become the message, the real you. In the quickening of love and light within the human race. There are many now who are living constructive lives whose hearts have opened and a sacred cell within the physical heart has released an eternal flame into the center of the chest area that creates a new sacred heart center. This is the birth of the Christ flame within your physical forms. For this re reason, the ascended host have referred to the body as the temple for the most high living God. It is real. It is not only a metaphor. It is real in this reality that you're holding within your physical bodies is going to help you to anchor the fullness of your higher Christ presence into, through, and around you now. And it's going to assist you to realize that you are carrying within you a place now where you can come to understand everything and comprehend all things. Beloved hearts, you can come to understand your unity, your connectedness with Source and each other. And the time is very short now when you will realize that you have never been disconnected from God and that you have a wonderful resource within you and you can feel that connection with your source and reach towards a crowning moment in which limitations that have touched you in the past no longer shall be. Many times we have shared the understanding that the real self that you are or the self that you are moving towards is already illumined and you require only some illumination that provides you your path to your real self. I urge you to remember all of you whether you have just begun your spiritual awakening or you've been at it for several years, to remember and realize that you are carrying within you a resource of finer and higher knowledge that formerly was covered over and the ability to comprehend the truth is a gift that your own sacred heart flame is waiting to reveal to you in which you shall learn to access the unlimitlessness of life. And with those unlimited powers of light, move forward in developing yourselves. 
that which is known as philosophy, religion, science, technology, mathematics, engineering, in the near future will come together in a new spiritual way in which none of these things will be seen as separate, rather as a whole new spiritual education and vision in which human beings will bring forward new healing modalities, new improvements in food and health new scientific engineering, and a new harnessing of safe energies that do not threaten life on earth. This is the great awakening. Transformation through greater light, love, and peace is coming into your world at a pace that has not been seen before. And this is just the beginning. Therefore, beloved hearts, do not be dismayed by the seeming chaos in the outer world. Human beings in greater numbers are being restored to their divinity and will express a greater intelligence And there are cosmic beings who love humanity so greatly in greater dimensions of our solar system. And they are presently assisting in the downloading of information through constructive minds, new potentialities. And my point, none of this can happen without you. Because all of it must come through you and others because this is your world given to you to grow and evolve. Consciousness is one, dear hearts. And as you seek your path to higher states of consciousness, Your consciousness is overlighting the mass consciousness of the world. This journey back to life for humanity is well on its way and there is no turning back. The truth is the world is being bombarded with cosmic rays of love and that love is giving of itself in so many ways cleansing humanity and the earth and human beings by the hundreds of thousands are initiating their awakening now and those of you who initiated your own awakening years past. Be the great light and assist those that are just beginning their awakening. I will and I will come as close to you and hold you and nurture you in your continued awakening and becoming. There is nothing that we cannot do together. Victory is certain. I am Papa Son, and my love for you is infinite. May your capacity to receive be infinite as well. My beloved hearts of love's eternal presence, namaste, namaste, namaste.